yesterday. I had some viewer emails, a few Facebook comments, all asking the same thing. This kind of start in November, does that mean a very cold and even maybe a snowy forecast as we move into the winter? So I thought we'd bring in John Fawcett from the National Weather Service and we would talk a little bit about the winter weather or even just that cool fall weather that's ahead of us. So let's uh, get right to it, John. First off, uh, like I said, we've got a lot of people that have been asking, ooh, when I see the fog, I think cold, cold conditions. Uh, first freeze is normally in November. Let's talk a little bit about the dates, what you're looking at. So far from what you've seen, does it look like we might be moving towards those averages? Uh, November 13th being the average here in El Paso for your first freeze. Well, what we see out seven days or so with our computer models, it doesn't look like we'll make that average mm -hmm. freeze. We've already passed the first freeze ever but uh, the average first freeze is like November 13th and and it looks like now we're talking about officially in El Paso we're not talking about the outlying areas mm -hmm. which can get five to ten degrees colder overnight than in the uh, city so keep that in mind uh, so the average first freeze is November 13th. The average last freeze, March 17th. That's way too far to tell yeah, if we're going to... Yeah, quite a past forecast, but as you just said, right now looking at the seven-day forecast, doesn't look like we're going to be at that 32. Some areas, though, could be getting chilly enough. And as we talk about freezing conditions, also want to talk about some of the winter weather conditions that come with a little later on. Not necessarily November, but as we move in the next following months. First off, uh, let's talk a little bit about snow. Let's talk about the difference between some of the different winter weather patterns. Well, right, snow, you can have snow in the summertime way above you, thousands and thousands mm -hmm. of feet above, but it's, it, it has to be freezing down to the surface for that snow to survive to the surface uh, unless it falls fast. I've seen snowflakes uh, reach the ground at 40 degrees here at the surface, but it just doesn't stick. Yes. Okay, but that's snow, and that's more common than any of the other freezing or frozen precipitation types here in El Paso. Paso, which is a good thing. Sleet is uh, not quite as pleasant. Uh, it begins as snow, freezes, or excuse me, melts as it moves into a warmer layer that's above the surface though. Then it falls into another cold layer below or just above the surface and freezes again and that's sleet. It kind of looks like uh, poor man's hail. Mm -hmm. of time. Uh, you get a lot of people sometimes that'll say, oh, it's hailing where I was and that's the kind of the, the concern or confusion that comes across when we get the winter weather is what the difference between snow, the sleet, the hail, right. and then one of the most important and not as frequent things that we see, of course, is the freezing rain. Can Which you talk it, yeah. a little more about this? Because this one's very interesting. Yeah, that's the most rare around here, and that's a good thing. That's when the freezing layer near the ground is not deep enough, so the falling rain cannot freeze before it hits the ground. It freezes after it hits the ground and forms a layer of ice on the roads, on the trees, mm -hmm. on the power lines. Eventually, if it continues, it becomes too heavy, it snaps the power lines, the trees, and it's the worst kind of thing to drive on. Uh, that is rare for here. It gets more common the further east you go, Sierra Blanca, Van Horn, uh -huh. but still not as uh, common as like Dallas or places like that. It, it, you don't want freezing rain. Ugh. Yeah. Definitely not something we want, and so far looking like we're absolutely out of clear on that. We'll keep cont continue tracking, rather, though, the potential for that first freeze, and we will have more information on some of those chances of rain that we have in the forecast up after your break.